Dan screaming on tour with new kids on the block. He's keeping NYC safe on the hit show Blue Bloods, and he has amazing taste in women. That's right, I'm talking about Sherry. Please welcome Donnie Wolver. Do you want to see what I got? What did you get? You see, I think I took a picture of it. Look oh, what, look what oh, oh. <laughs> oh. That is from my boyfriend. Hi, baby. Hi. You look very handsome. Thank you. I just have to ask Donnie because I... You know, I've had this T-shirt for a long time, Donnie. It is, you know, you have been my my secret fantasy crush for many, many years. I don't believe the tabloids. I want to hear from your mouth. <laughs> Are you taken? Is this a thing that's a permanent? Should I wash my T-shirt and put, you know? If I had only seen you twerking before, <laughs> maybe, maybe. We could have changed it. Well, um, yeah, we, we've been spending some time together, but you can still love me. I know, I, got, I love Donnie, but just in case, I put this on the back of my shirt, too. Just in case. I love it! Okay. Oh, how long has this been? How serious is this? Oh, wow, I'm right oh, in the lion's okay. den now, huh? Okay. <laughs> Barbara's getting it. Uh, me? Yeah, how we you met, we, we, um, we met on the Andy Cohen show and just did the show together as guests and then I was asked to Jenny's show, I think, what, five months later? Yes. And then I was feeling it. But go yeah. ahead. <laughs> and, so uh, you, did you ask Jenny out no, of Jenny? Well, I don't want to embarrass her, but Jenny uh, <laughs> slipped her phone number to me after her show and I didn't call her for a while. True. I didn't. I was like, there's something wrong with him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but then, you know, after a while, um, I was hearing little things and she was putting little signals out there so I decided to call and I was stalking him I was standing at his door going why haven't you called me <laughs> well we, we went out once and we you know amazingly we spent about six hours together and we talked the entire time for the and, five or six hours? Well, yes it, it was it that's was, not what we did in my fantasy <laughs> Just you know, it's, it's not what we did in most people's fantasies, but you know, it was uh, it was actually really good, and I got to see you know who she really is, and she's a wonderful woman. She's very smart. She's very intelligent. She's a great mom. She's just we have a lot in common. How long has it been that? Um, I guess since Fourth of July. -ish. Yeah, we'll call it that. Yeah, that's what the tabloid said. So final answer. Final answer, Fourth of July. Please, we sent you your very busy life because you've got new kids on the block. You've got uh, blue blood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you manage? Yeah. How do you manage it all? It's uh, it's tricky, but you know most of you ladies all do multiple things. It's just when we're in this business, you know, we don't get opportunities to do all the things we want to do. You know, we work for years to be in a position to to have opportunities to be on tour or be an actor or do different things that we've worked so hard for. I mean, for me, it's this is the greatest time in my career, and I want to, I'm want to. i going to do everything I can while I can, you know, because I remember the years when I couldn't get a gig as an actor, and my band couldn't sell records anymore, and um, fortunately, it's all, you know, in a really great place now, so for me, it's a, it's a blessing, and I want to take advantage of it in well, every you, possible way I can. Because you're not busy enough, you also executive produced an amazing docuseries, Boston's Finest, which, mm -hmm. congratulations, has been picked up for a second season. Now, there were some first responders from the Boston Marathon bombings. Do you plan on incorporating that into next season? Well, it's a delicate thing, um, you know, with the show, because obviously we, we, our first season aired before the Boston Marathon uh, situation happened, and, and we already know on the show and in Boston how amazing these policemen and women are um, in our city. But, um, you know, we don't want to glorify the incident that happened, so we're, we're treading lightly, but we do want to hopefully at some point show just how amazing um, these men and women were yeah, as first responders. I mean, they, they put their lives on the line every day, but when something like that happens, as New Yorkers know and as the world knows, um, when something like that happens, a terrorist attack, um, the bravery that these people do. I mean, they, most of these cops grew up right down the street from my family, and it's like to imagine the heroism. I mean, I, we could only dream of being so brave. So, I mean, I hope to 
to highlight it in some way, but really um, not to glorify the incident right. itself, because that, that doesn't really deserve any glorification. Yeah. You are so busy. I mean, she must take a little bit of your time, right? She's busy too, though. It, it's <laughs> what makes it great. I mean, she, she, it's, you know, it's hard for people to understand, you know, what it's like to be working so often, and, you know, with her, it's like, well, hey, I gotta go do this, I gotta do that, yeah, and, you know. Speaking of, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Yeah. You also have a chain, uh, your, uh, called Wahlburgers, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In your spare time. Yeah. And it's, it's supposed it's to be... It's a burger joint. That's it. Yeah. You have one, you're opening another? Yeah. yeah. What, what's different about a Wahlburger? Or better about a Wahlburger? Well, we, it exists. we, have, we have a restaurant called Wahlburgers. We're opening a second one in Massachusetts, hopefully in the next six months. And we just announced that we're opening one in Toronto. Um, and also we're doing... If I didn't have enough work to do, Mark and I co-owners of the restaurant we're executive producing a reality show about Wahlburgers which is <laughs> yeah it's gonna be on A&E um, it, it stars my mom who um, family's working. my mother stars in the show she works at the restaurant my brother Paul runs the restaurant and Mark and I are also gonna Can appear in the show yeah. <laughs> that would make my mom very happy I wish you had brought a couple of burgers. That was yeah. you know, I I breakfast that. time is borderline, you know. I must say, though, his buns are quite delicious. <laughs> <laughs> They're sesame seeds. They're delicious. Huh? Well, you know, speaking of delicious, I, I, I hope we have time to do this. We wanted to play a little game with you, Donnie and Jenny. We wanted to find out how well you guys know each other. So we're going to ask you a couple questions. Oh, and we had you write these answers down on cards. So give Donnie his card. All right, all right. All right. So, Donnie. Time. All right. Wish me luck. If, 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 if you fail, we break up. Okay. No, don't say that. <laughs> Donnie, what would Jenny say is her favorite musical? Oh, I think I know that one. I, I think. The Sound of Music. All right, what'd you say, girl? For two years. Is this the newlywed game? Yeah, I wanted you know, and this is a little bit newlywed game. We got nothing. <laughs> so Jenny went to college for two years. While in school, what was she studying to become? What'd you say? Um, uh, what was she studying to become? The late night educator during the stream, remember? A nurse? Yes! yes. What'd you say? Yes! yes. All right. Okay. This is a really good one. This is a really good one. Okay. <laughs> Donnie, which of your parts would Jenny say is her favorite? What did you say? Well, I said two things. What did you say? My butt, butt should be my, but it should be my eye. I love it. What did you say? Me Jenny? and the blockheads love the butt. The butt! Connie, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I'll give you the extra thank you later. The fourth season of Blue Bloods premieres Friday, September 27th. Check your local listings. <laughs> we'll be right back. Tomorrow, the Dancing with the Stars contestant everyone's rooting for, Valerie Hopper. Plus, Gloria Estefan setting our stage on fire.